Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You're watching one of my Malaysia travel videos and today I'm taking you to the National Mosque in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, so it's a museum now, right? Yep. Okay. This place was huge. I had to enter my name and country of origin and remove my shoes before entering the mosque. All of a sudden, a man came out of nowhere, running towards me and trying to tell me something. I eventually discerned that he was saying Justin Trudeau was a very, very good man. He saw Canada next to my name and came running to me just to tell me that. The National Mosque architecture reflects contemporary traditional Islamic art with the help of calligraphy, ornamentation and other past and present artworks. The roof of the mosque was the most strikingly designed and unique. It looked like a multi-fold umbrella that symbolizes the aspirations of Malaysia as an independent nation. The minaret is 73 meters or 240 feet high and the main roof has a 16 pointed stars. 50,000 people can pray in the mosque together and it is situated among 13 acres of gardens in the heart of Kuala Lumpur. There are many reflecting pools and fountains throughout the mosque. A sense of tranquility and peacefulness existed throughout the complex. I noticed there is a point up to which non-Muslims can go inside the mosque. The employees were not letting visitors inside, which seemed to be the main prayer room, unless they were Muslims. Some of the Kuala Lumpur skylines were visible from the mosque. I saw two buildings connected on top, which looked like a boat, next to the St. Regis Hotel. This building complex kind of looked like the Marina Bay Sands Hotel in Singapore. I was not sure if these two buildings were a part of the St. Regis Hotel or separate. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing to this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.